Gordyo past Voigelsk in Gordyo. One Y Star Delta starter is preferred with induction motor. Star Delta starter is preferred with induction motor due to following reasons. Starting current is reduced 3 to 4 times of the direct current due to which voltage drops and hence it causes less losses. Star Delta starter circuit comes in circuit first during starting of motor, which reduces voltage 3 times, that is why current also reduces up to 3 times and hence less motor burning is caused. In addition, starting torque is increased and it prevents the damage of motor winding. To state the difference between generator and alternator. Generator and alternator are two devices, which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Both have the same principle of electromagnetic induction, the only difference is that their construction generator persists stationary magnetic field and rotating conductor which rolls on the armature with slip rings and brushes riding against each other, hence it converts the induced EMF into DC current for external load. Whereas an alternator has a stationary armature and rotating magnetic field for high voltages but for low voltage output, rotating armature and stationary magnetic field is used. 3 YAC systems are preferred over DC systems. Due to following reasons, AC systems are preferred over DC systems. A. It is easy to maintain and change the voltage of AC electricity for transmission and distribution. B. Plant cost for AC transmission, circuit breakers, transformers, etc., is much lower than the equivalent DC transmission. C. From power stations, AC is produced so it is better to use AC than DC instead of converting it. D. When a large fault occurs in a network, it is easier to interrupt in an AC system, as the sine wave current will naturally tend to zero at some point making the current easier to interrupt. 4. How can you relate power engineering with electrical engineering? Power engineering is a subdivision of electrical engineering. It deals with generation, transmission, and distribution of energy. In electrical form, design of all power equipments also comes under power engineering. Power engineers may work on the design and maintenance of the power grid i.e. called on grid systems and they might work on off-grid systems that are not connected to the system. 5. What are the various kind of cables used? For transmission, cables, which are used for transmitting power, can be categorized in three forms. Low tension cables, which can transmit voltage up to 1000 volts. High tension cables can transmit voltage up to 23000 volts. Super tension cables can transmit voltage 66 kV to 132 kV. 6. Why back EMF used for a DC motor? Highlight its significance. The induced EMF developed when the rotating conductors of the armature between the poles of magnet in a DC motor cut the magnetic flux, opposes the current flowing through the conductor when the armature rotates, is called back EMF. Its value depends upon the speed of rotation of the armature conductors. In starting, the value of back EMF is zero. 7. What is slip in an induction motor? Slip can be defined as the difference between the flux speed, ns, and the rotor speed, n. Speed of the rotor of an induction motor is always less than its synchronous speed. It is usually expressed as a percentage of synchronous speed, ns, and represented by the symbol s. 8. Explain the application of storage batteries. Storage batteries are used for various purposes, some of the applications are mentioned below. 
for the operation of protective devices and for emergency lighting at generating stations and substations for starting ignition and lighting of automobiles aircrafts etc for lighting on steam and diesel railways trains as a supply power source in telephone exchange laboratories and broadcasting stations for emergency lighting at hospitals banks rural areas where electricity supplies are not possible 9 explain advantages of storage batteries few advantages of storage batteries are mentioned below most efficient form of storing energy portably stored energy is available immediately because there is no lag of time for delivering the stored energy reliable source for supply of energy the energy can be drawn at a fairly constant rate 10 what are the different methods for the starting of a synchronous motor starting methods synchronous motor can be started by the following two methods by means of an auxiliary motor the rotor of a synchronous motor is rotated by auxiliary motor then rotor poles are excited due to which the rotor field is locked with the stator revolving field and continuous rotation is obtained by providing damper winding here bar conductors are embedded in the outer periphery of the rotor poles and are short circuited with the short circuiting rings at both sides the machine is started as a squirrel cage induction motor first when it picks up speed excitation is given to the rotor and the rotor starts rotating continuously as the rotor field is locked with stator revolving field 11 name the types of motors used in vacuum cleaners vending machines refrigerators rolling mills lathes power factor improvement following motors are used vacuum cleaners universal motor vending machines shaded pole motor refrigerators capacitor split phase motors rolling mills cumulative motors lathes dc shunt motors power factor improvement synchronous motors 12 explain different losses in a transformer there are two types of losses occurring in transformer constant losses or iron losses the losses that occur in the core are known as core losses or iron losses two types of iron losses are O eddy current loss O hysteresis loss these losses depend upon the supply voltage frequency core material and its construction as long as supply voltage and frequency is constant these losses remain the same whether the transformer is loaded or not these are also known as constant losses variable losses or copper losses when the transformer is loaded current flows in primary and secondary windings there is loss of electrical energy due to the resistance of the primary winding and secondary winding and they are called variable losses these losses depend upon the loading conditions of the transformers therefore these losses are also called as variable losses 13 explain different types of DC motors give their applications different type of DC motors and their applications are as follows shunt motors it has a constant speed though its starting torque is not very high therefore it is suitable for constant speed drive where high starting torque is not required such as pumps blowers fan lathe machines tools belt or chain conveyor etc series motors it has high starting torque and its speed is inversely proportional to the loading conditions i.e. when lightly loaded the speed is high and when heavily loaded it is low therefore motor is used in lifts cranes traction work coal loader and coal cutter in coal mines etc compound motors it also has high starting torque and variable speed its advantage is it can run at nil loads without any danger this motor will therefore find its application in loads having high inertia load or requiring high intermittent torque such as elevators conveyor rolling mill 
planes, presses, shears, and punches, coal cutter and winding machines etc. 14 Comment on the working principle of operation of a single phase transformer. Working principle of operation of a single phase transformer can be explained as An AC supply passes through the primary winding, a current will start flowing in the primary winding. As a result, the flux is set. This flux is linked with primary and secondary windings. Hence, voltage is induced in both the windings. Now, when the load is connected to the secondary side, the current will start flowing in the load in the secondary winding, resulting in the flow of additional current in the secondary winding. Hence, according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, EMF will be induced in both the windings. The voltage induced in the primary winding is due to its self-inductance and known as self-induced EMF and according to Lenz's law it will oppose the cause i.e. supply voltage hence called as back EMF. The voltage induced in secondary coil is known as mutually induced voltage. Hence, transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. 15 Define the following terms. Reliability. Maximum demand. Reserve generating capacity. Availability, operational. Reliability, it is the capacity of the power system to serve all power. Demands without failure over long periods. Maximum demand, it is maximum load demand required in a power. Station during a given period. Reserve generating capacity, extra generation capacity installed to meet. The need of scheduled downtimes for preventive maintenance is called reserve generating capacity. Availability, as the percentage of the time a unit is available to produce power whether needed by the system or not. 16 Mention the disadvantages of low power factor. How can it be improved? Disadvantages of low power factor. Line losses are 1.57 times unity power factor. Larger generators and transformers are required. Low lagging power factor causes a large voltage drop, hence extra. Regulation equipment is required to keep voltage drop within. Prescribed limits. Greater conductor size, to transmit or distribute a fixed amount of. Power at fixed voltage, the conductors will have to carry more current at low power factor. This requires a large conductor size. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Like subscribe and share.